Welcome to this video in which I'm going to go right back to basics on 2D Design, our 2D CAD software, and I'm going to be making a ruler, which is kind of a model on the ruler that you can see here. I'm probably going to do two videos. The first video that you're watching right now is going to just look at the basics of loading up 2D Design, uh, preparing it for, for use and uh, creating the basics of a ruler. And then in the second uh, video, I might just add on a few details of, of how you can make something that looks like this. So. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to press the Windows key in the bottom left of the keyboard here, and I'm going to type in 2D, which is going to allow me to load up 2D Design, in this case version 2. And I could click on it with a mouse, or if I want to, I can just press Enter on the keyboard because 2D Design is the active application there. OK, here we are in 2D Design. And the first thing I want to do here is change the grid settings. I personally don't like the grid that we have here, these dots. Um, so if I, in the top right here, if I come to the grid lock, and I'm going to right click on grid lock, and it's going to bring up the dialog box for the grid settings, I'm going to specify here that I'm going to have a 5mm grid in the X, running across the page horizontally, and then in the Y I'm going to choose a 5mm grid as well. I'm going to leave step spacing as 1mm here, orthogonal grid. I'm going to change the style here to lines and the color is going to be pale blue. Please choose pale blue and lines because I find that this A looks like kind of science graph paper which I like and B it means when I'm drawing that that pale blue is clear on the screen but it doesn't um, it doesn't affect my eyes very much and it also doesn't uh, distract from the drawings that I'm doing as well. So pale blue and confirm and I find that grid very nice to work with. Now something else I'm going to do as well just for making this ruler is I'm going to change the units from millimeters into centimeters. Normally I would work with cent with millimeters all the time, uh, but because I'm going to be making um, a ruler here um, which has got centimeter markings on it, um, I'm going to change it to centimeters. So here we go, I'm going to go to setup at the top here, drawing, units, and I'm going to change units from millimeters to centimeters and confirm that. So now I'm going to get a drawing tool. I'm just going to start off with a line tool here just to show you how this works. And I'm going to bring my cursor down to the bottom left hand corner. Now notice here that because I've got grid lock turned on here in the top right, my cursor is snapping to the pale blue grid. And if I put my cursor over the bottom left corner of this drawing area, I have an absolute grid reference here and a relative grid, grid reference of 0 and 0 centimeters. Now as I move my cursor to the right you can see that the absolute and relative grid reference increases by half a centimeter or 5 millimeters and then the second square makes a whole centimeter. And as I work my way along the uh, the bottom of the drawing here my x value increases in both the absolute grid reference here where my mouse is uh, and here for the, for the relative grid reference. We'll talk about what those two mean in a second. If I go back to the origin, everything is x, 0, y, 0. Now I'm going to move up the page, and now you can see that the x is still on 0, but the y is now increasing. It's currently 5.5 centimeters. Okay, so those uh, are, are the coordinate settings for my paper, and that's really important, as you'll see. Now, I want to make a ruler here, which is going to be um, 20 centimeters in length but uh, so hopefully you can see that I'm going from 0 all the way to 20 but you'll notice as well but that because this is an acrylic ruler um, and it might get uh, it might get a little bit damaged on the corner here that I'm actually starting my 0 5 millimeters in from the edge and I'm finishing my 20 centimeters um, again 5 millimeters from the edge here so I'm going to make sure that I, I do that in my CAD file so I actually want to specify the length of my ruler to be in this case 20 one centimeters in length, 20 for the centimeter scale, plus half a centimeter on the left and half on the right. Okay, so let's just come back to 2D design. And what I'm going to do here is come to my uh, rectangle tool, which is up here in the top left. Um, I'm going to start somewhere at the top of the page here. I'm going to click once with the mouse, and then I'm going to bring the mouse over to the right. Now, what I'm looking at now as I move to the right is not the absolute grid reference, but the relative grid reference. And this is actually going to give me um, the distance that I have moved since clicking. So you'll notice right now, look at the top left at this point. If I look in the, uh, sorry, the bottom left. If I look in the bottom left, you can see the absolute grid reference is 16 centimeters on the X and 24 in the Y, or 16 horizontally along and 
24 centimeters vertically up. But the relative grid reference from the top left of this rectangle is 13 and a half centimeters to the right and three and a half centimeters down. So it's the relative grid reference I want to be looking at here, not the reference to the origin of the page in the bottom left corner. Okay, so I'm going to keep moving to the right here until I get to 21 centimeters and I'm actually going to keep here the depth of this ruler to negative three and a half I've gone down here that's why it's a negative number and I feel as if three and a half is a good value if I go three it looks a bit skinny if I go four it doesn't look quite so ruler like in my mind I like three and a half it gives me a bit of space to put some graphics on here as well now to pr um, I've clicked again and now I've finished now to prove that my dimensioning is right I'm going to come to the dimension line tool, which is this tool here. This is tool B5. Um, and I'm just going to click once on this corner, once on this corner, and then come down a few centimeters there. And that shows that that's 21 centimeters in length. And then the height of this, let's click on this bottom left corner, top left corner, take this to the side, and that's going to show me that it's three and a half centimeters in height. Okay, so that's basically my, my ruler profile created. Now I want to start to do the centimeter and millimeter markings. And before I do this, the first thing I'm going to do is zoom in so I'm, I can see more clearly what I'm doing on my ruler. Now I could come to the plus and minus tools over here, click on the plus and zoom in, but actually I prefer to use a different tool. So I'm going to zoom back to media and then I'm going to come to the bottom left where I've got the zoom in tool and what this does is gives me uh, a bounding box that I then will zoom onto. So if I click top left and bottom right of my drawing and then it will zoom in on that bounding box. Okay so now I can see more clearly what I'm doing. I'm going to come to the line tool now and I'm going to start to indicate where my centimeter marks are. Now I'm just going to come back to my ruler drawing here, my, my, my finished ruler should I say. And What I want to highlight here is that my my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 centimeter markings are slightly longer and I tend to find that this is common amongst most rulers. If I show you this one here again you can see that the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that length of the line is quite a bit longer than the rest. Now how long do I want to make this line? Um, I'm going to make mine just... oh it's a good question. Let's come back to here. I think I'm going to make them all a centimeter and then if I'm not happy I can scale it down. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So here's my line. Um, I've got gridlock turned on. Please notice this is really important. I'm actually going to turn gridlock off at this point in time and I'm going to start to try and draw these lines and as you can see the it's really difficult to get them straight and accurate. In fact if I zoom in again on this using the zoom tool you can see just how far these lines are off the pale blue grid and this pale blue grid is super important because if I snap to the pale blue grid I'm going to get all my centimeters perfectly aligned and when I laser cut this I will get the the, the ruler with all the correct um, centimeter and millimeter markings. Let's just go to the last view there get the delete any tool and click on these lines that I don't want. I can also turn on step lock. Now if I right click here remember that step lock is set to one millimeter or 0.1 of a centimeter in both the X and the Y grid. So if I work with this tool it does my, my, make my life a little easier. I can snap onto the line there but I still have to really concentrate to get it on the grid and it's not always that easy. So just make your life easy. If I know I want to draw on the grid then turn on grid lock in the top right here and then now look everything just snaps into position. Okay so I could do all this you know manually but actually what I'm going to do at this point is stop and I'm going to make my life easy. I'm going to get the selection tool I'm going to click and drag over those centimeter markings and then I'm going to do well I could go edit I can go copy and then edit paste and then just place those new ones here. But I'm actually just going to instead notice that paste is control V, con copy is control C, just like any other Windows application. I'm just going to press on the keyboard control V, just drop that in there, control V again, drop that in there as well. And you'll notice now that some of these lines go on too far. So actually I'm going to click and drag over the lines that I don't want and I'm going to press the delete key. Now it's the delete key, not the backspace key. Make sure you press delete and that will get rid of those backspace will do nothing. So those are my basic centimeter markings. 
Um, and now I'm going to have a, a look at, uh, no, let's just think about this. I said that uh, I wasn't too sure how long to make these. I think these are too long. So I'm going to select all of these lines here uh, with the grid lock still turned on. I'm now going to use the resize handles around the outside of this selection box. And uh, I'm going to click on this resize handle here. Now, again, it's a bit strange in 2D design in pretty much all Windows applications, you click and drag, but in 2D design, it wants you to click once, move the mouse, and then click when you're happy. So I'm going to scale those back to be just half a centimeter in length. Okay, so now I want to do the half centimeter or five millimeter markings. So just looking at my ruler again, I can see that both on the, the manufactured ruler and the one that I've made here, um, the 5mm markings are a little bit shorter, so I'm going to go with that same technique on 2D design. Um, let's just get these the line tool again, but I need to be able to get uh, you know more accurate with my with my drawing. The grid is too too uh, too harsh, so I'm going to go to step lock now, and with the line tool here, I'm now going to start to draw my 5mm or half centimeter marking. Now, how far do I go here? I think I'm going to pull it back to. Do I put it back to there? How does that look? Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Now that was quite difficult to do. So what I could do here again is zoom in just on what I want. With more zoom control now it's easier to snap to where I want it to be. And in the same way, what I could, oopsie, I start, ah, now I started to click and I was off there. If this happens, there's two things you can do. You can right click on the mouse or you can press the escape key. Either will cancel that line. Okay, let's just try and do that again. Now again, I could go all the way along the whole ruler. Let's go to the last view there. Um, and, uh, you know, that's fine. But again, what I'm going to do here is, you know, I could select these and I could copy and I could paste. Uh, that's Control C, Control V, and I can drop them in where I want them. Now notice that when I copy and paste these, if I turn on grid lock, when I paste it, it snaps onto the grid perfectly for where I want to put them. But at this point, I'm not going to go to the end because what I've realized now is that I still need to add in the little millimeter markings. And actually, my thinking is what I need to do is basically just get one set of markings in place here and then just duplicate them all the way along. So that's going to be my strategy right now. I'm going to focus in, I'm going to do my millimeter markings here, and then I'm going to just duplicate the centimeter, half centimeter, and millimeter markings all in one go. So here we go. Uh, the line tool again, let's come onto the step lock. And in here, let's have a see, this is going to be zero. So I'm going to have one millimeter and I'm going to have this two millimeters down. Next millimeter long, this is two millimeters, three, four, five is already there, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's 10 millimeters or one centimeter. Okay, perfect. Now, let's come back to the last view. What I'm now going to do is with a selection tool, I'm going to leave this last 20 centimeter marking. I'm going to select all the other centimeter markings, including the one, but not the millimeter markings. And I'm going to press delete on the keyboard. Now what I'm going to do is select this. I'm going to turn grid lock on. In fact, no, I'll do it with grid lock turned off. In fact, I'll do it with, with all grid lock things turned off. No step lock, no grid lock. It's just wild now. Control C, Control V, and now look what happens. I'm going to try and put that in the right position. And I've got to try and position it as accurately as I can. Now in this view, that looks quite neat. But let's come to the zoom tool. Let's zoom in and see in more detail. These lines here were on the grid. They are perfect. These lines here, you can see, that's the one centimeter mark. It is off. The five millimeter is off, and therefore I can see clearly as well that the millimeters are slightly staggered away from the line uh, of the edge of the ruler. They're all wrong. So don't do that. Let's undo that last feature and let's go back to the last zoom view. Now, just about that undo feature, if I can just point out here, in this version of 2D Design, I've only got one chance to undo. Look, I can't go any further back than just that one undo when I move that off the grid. So just be careful. It's a good idea actually to save your work on a regular basis with incremental version numbers so that you've got plenty of backups. Anyway, I'm going to delete that. Let's come to grid lock. And now with grid lock turned on, let's paste that in and let's place it where we want it to be. And notice, look, that snap straight in. Perfect. Paste again, snap it in, paste again, snap it in. And all of those, if I go to the last view zoomed, no, 
Okay, not my bad. That was very bad. Don't do that. If I come to the zoom tool again, let's zoom in on this. Here we go. And look, they're now all absolutely perfect on the grid. Okay, last. Good. Um, right, so now I could keep doing that. I could keep pasting these little ones. But I'm actually thinking to myself, well, you know what? I've got one, two, three, four, five centimeters. Why don't I select that? Control C, Control V. And now I've got all of that. Now that goes all the way to 10. Now I can do Control C, Control V. And notice here that this has got, this is going to be centimeters 10 here. And that's going to be centimeters 20. Now I've already got the 20 centimeters. And I haven't got the 10. So now when I place that in there, it's going to perfectly fill in that gap. Oh, beautiful. Et voila. So there's basically my, my ruler in place. I'm going to stop this video now. I'm at 15 minutes. In the next video, I'll be adding in the numbers and I'll be doing a few other little tweaks as well. So see you then.